Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabriel, just from the Fan TV, man. Back after the video, like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. So, you know, look, it's Friday. On Friday, we like to get a game status for, uh, you know, the Ravens and their opponent. So that's what we're going to do, man. You know, what's, who's questionable, who's out, who's playing, who's not. Uh, just to give an idea of what we're going to go against on uh, Sunday for uh, us as Ravens fans and, you know, you know what the Bills got going on as well, all right? So first, I do want to start off with the fact that um, I watched that um, Dolphins and Bengals game. And what happened to Tua shouldn't have happened. So, you know, I don't know if there's any athletes who watch these videos, but always remember, you got to put yourself first, honestly, because you will see that teams will put you out there and you're not ready to go. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, they, they said Tua flew home with the team yesterday, so I'm glad that that, that happened. But um, it was a scary situation to see somebody get knocked out or pretty much unconscious like that. You know, he had a concussion the previous Sunday. And now, what, four days later, he gets another concussion that causes, that could cause, you know, some serious issues for him. So, you know, hopefully he's all right. And, you know, they actually give him the time off that he needs before they try to make him play quarterback again. All right. Um, so I just want to say that, you know, prayers of the tour. So um, now, as far as the Ravens versus the Bills game, who's injured, who's not, uh, Michael Pierce did, in fact, decide to have season ending um, bicep surgery. Uh, he decided that, I believe, two days ago on Wednesday. So, uh, Ravens are without Michael Pierce. Um, the Ravens have about 50 players on their roster right now, according to, I saw Justin Reback tweeted out. So, there will be some additions made, you know, some roster spots like that. I think a guy like Isaiah Mack could be brought up um, to help fill that role. And obviously, you know, that means Travis Jones needs to take a step forward, okay? Um, JPP, he, was, he had his media availability today. He pretty much said that, yeah, I'm on track to play this Sunday. I'm ready to go. So the Ravens should, uh, Ravens fans should see JPP in his first action uh, this Sunday. So that's exciting, all right? Now, as far as the injury report, J.K. Dobbins, full participant all week. He's been strong. Expect to see him out there again. Justin Houston, doubtful with his groin injury. So it wasn't just a veteran rest day on Wednesday, how, how I may have thought. It looks like Justin Houston will not play this weekend. Um, or at least he's doubtful. So when I, when I see doubtful, I say it's about 85, 90% chance that guy doesn't play. That, that's, that's just how I read doubtful. Um, Patrick McCurry, doubt, uh, doubtful. So we could be seeing, uh, we probably will be seeing Daniel Falele again. Uh, Marcus Peters, James Prochet, fully healthy, going to play. Well, we'll see in James Prochet's case. You know, he's been a healthy scratch a couple times. But, but anyway, fully healthy. Ronnie Stanley, questionable. He did not practice today. Uh, besides today, he was a full participant all week. So now, um, if he would have practiced today, we probably would have been in good shape of saying, okay, Ronnie Stanley's going to make his season debut. But since he didn't practice today, we're kind of back to beating up in the air. And when Ronnie Stanley plays, he plays. You know, we'll see. Hopefully that is sooner than later. But, you know, we'll see what happens with Ronnie Stanley, okay? Um, they haven't rushed him back before. They're not going to do it now. If he's ready to go, he'll play. If not, we'll see Daniel Falele over there at left tackle. And um, he did pretty well. He did pretty well, okay? Now, what I want to do is, um, I, I, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm actually going to talk about the other team's injuries as well. Uh, just to give you an idea of maybe who is uh, limited to questionable on that side. Uh, Gabe Davis is questionable for the Bills, but he already said that to the media that he's going to play this Sunday. Uh, Jordan Phillips, questionable. Um, Jordan Poyer, you know, one of their safeties. Obviously, Mecca Hyde is out for the season. And here's Jordan Poyer. He's been questionable. He's been limited all week in practice, so he's questionable whether or not he's going to play this Sunday. That's big. Uh, Ed Oliver, defensive tackle, he's been limited all week. He's questionable. Uh, Dane Jackson, one of their backup corners, is, is questionable. Uh, their starting tight end, Dawson Knox, has been limited all week in practice. He's also questionable. And uh, Mitch Morse, their starting center, another guy limited the entire week, questionable. So the, the Bills might be one of the first teams that we've gone against that have had like a laundry list of injuries that might have been longer than the, uh, the Ravens have. So... Uh, you know, you not you never want to see injuries in the game, but it is a part of the game. So for the Ravens, uh, they're going against a Buffalo team that should be close to full strength. I think a lot of these guys do end up playing. Um, that's just my that's just my guess on the Bills side. A lot of those guys do end up playing. Uh, so they'll be going against a Bills team that's pretty close to full strength now. Um, the Ravens on the on their hand, the Ravens are in good shape for the first time in in, in a minute. You know, there's nobody that's 
too bad except for you know Justin Houston. That's that's going to be a huge miss. You know if he doesn't if he doesn't suit up, uh, they have to see what they can do there. You know then then it's just Odafe Owe. Now we're now we're piecing guys together. You know you probably see some Malik Harrison on the outside, some Calais Campbell on the outside. Then you got you know they signed Jeremiah Tachu and uh, Brandon Copeland. Can't forget about him. So you know obviously JPP just missing JPP. So you know the Ravens gonna have to piece together some guys and you know. It's going to be a little bit of patchwork on the defensive line on that edge rush once again. So this week is going to call for, I think, McDonald. Maybe not, not like I said in the last video, I'm not asking for McDonald to go crazy and blitz and things of that nature. But it might be called for him to go for a little bit more aggressive defense. It's something that's where you can um, heat up Josh Howland just a little bit. Um, obviously, we don't want to leave our guys in man-to-man -man coverage against this, uh, you know, this kind of quarterback, these kind of receivers. You know, Gabe Davis is big time. Obviously, Stephon Diggs is big time. And, you know, uh, Isaiah McKenzie is not too bad himself. So uh, the Ravens have their work cut off of them. Um, but I will say they're going into the game pretty, pretty healthy, man. You know, nobody on the injury report that was shocking. Nobody that was like, dang, you know, like I said, besides Justin Houston, you know. So the Ravens are going in there into good shape. Uh, the Bills, they have a lot of names on this injury report. But I think a lot of these names, you know, that, that, that we recognize will eventually play. So. I'm excited. It should be a big time game on Sunday. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm, I'm, we're going to release the, uh, you know, the Ravens Bills game preview. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And, uh, you know, I want to say, you know, everybody who's subscribing to these videos, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, if you like the content, if you feel like I'm giving them anything that's informative, uh, you like hearing me talk, whatever, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and you haven't hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Go ahead. Uh, please do. Uh, you know, I look at the channel analytics and it's about, uh, I think it says about 67% of these people who uh, who watch my videos are not subscribed. So, go ahead that subscribe button, man. I'm dropping Ravens content on a daily basis, bro. You know, if you want to hear about it, I'm dropping the content. So, uh, but that's it for me today, man. You know, Ravens versus Bills game status. Uh, Ravens are in good shape. Bills got a lot of names in their injury report, but I think a lot of those names will play. And, um, yeah, man, so we'll, the chips will fall where they may on Sunday and let, let the best team win. All right, so that, that's the status report for today. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. It's your boy Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. Bye.